Hey guys, Bridge here. In this video, we're going to talk about Webflow and if uh, you should use Webflow as a UI UX designer for either your portfolio or for client work. Now, let's uh, get uh, on with a premise and that is that uh, I'm a Webflow user myself. I do have two sites uh, on Webflow personal project and I develop many websites uh, for clients uh, using Webflow and I uh, also used uh, a lot of other more famous platforms such as WordPress or even drag and drop editors such as Squarespace, which I couldn't have for my personal website. So I tried a lot of different things, including hand coding. And I can tell you that Webflow is one of my favorite website builders out there. However, there are some cons and things to consider. So it's not a one size fits all solution for each and every project. There's a few things that I wanted to discuss. So the very first one is uh, comes down to the learning curve. So Webflow, yeah, it's, it is a drag and drop in some sorts and everything you can tweak without going to in the code directly. But there is a learning curve, especially if you're looking to create more complex designs. You definitely have to have a basic understanding of HTML, CSS, some JavaScript. And although, again, you won't go inside the code, you have to understand from a high level what's going on and even things like, you know, understanding CSS uh, floats and, uh, you know, CSS properties uh, for layout and all those things are going to actually have an impact in the way that you develop. So someone who doesn't have any knowledge in coding whatsoever, don't expect to go in Webflow and be able to pull off uh, amazing designs right uh, right away without any issue because that's not realistic. Um, that being said, basic designs can be achieved uh, with uh, a learning curve. I, th I think in, in a couple of days you can, you can definitely learn a lot about Webflow. It's not like a, a, a software that takes a, a whole lot of time, but in order to master it, yeah, that's, that's where the, the learning curve really kicks in. So that, that would be the very first thing to consider. And uh, then secondarily, especially if you're considering Webflow for your portfolio website uh, uh, would be, and also for clients would be the cost. So at the moment, Webflow is not uh, the cheapest solution out there in order to create uh, a website, although the prices, in my opinion, for what it gives, quite reasonable. And uh, especially if a client has uh, a decent budget, shouldn't really be a problem. But nonetheless, uh, uh, something that we need to consider in the equation, that is that usually it's uh, 12 bucks a month for the basic, if you pay that annually, 15 bucks uh, uh, if you pay monthly, and that gives you a monthly visit of uh, 25,000. So if you have, a, if you're doing, for example, a redesign with that of a website that has a lot of visits, you know the prices are going to to jump up. Uh, things to consider if you know, a particular client is speaking about this stuff. Uh, I know for a fact that WordPress is going to be uh, cheaper in several occasions. But nonetheless, you have to like balance all of these things out uh, and uh, make your goal. For a portfolio website, I think that, uh, you know, uh, either 12 or 15 bucks a month for the basic, which is all you need really, because uh, I mean, you're not likely going to exceed the monthly visit of 25,000 paid views a month uh, and uh, 100 pages, uh, it's more than enough in my opinion and you have all all the uh all the basic you know features 100 forms of submissions again i think it's plenty if you're just a freelancer um all that is pretty going to is pretty much going to cover you for good so definitely something to consider in the equation and by the way just before we move on i want to remind you that i recently launched a free course on how to get started in ui ux design now i myself have been a ui ux designer for over a decade now and uh, i'm basically teaching this uh, quick training um, all the things that i wanted to know when i first started out and uh, on top of that, I'm also leaving source files from uh, uh, the free software tutorials that you can find on my channel. I have over 500 videos, so feel free to check it out. But now let's go back to Webflow. Now, another thing to consider is the fact that Webflow also offers themes, which uh, are quite good, especially the premium themes. They're not uh, cheap, but I think it's really worth the price since they can definitely speed up uh, your workflow. So there's a lot of themes uh, 
And um, another thing that uh, I wanted to mention is that Webflow doesn't really work uh, uh, for each and every type of website project out there, especially, for example, if you're dealing with a client that needs uh, an e-commerce uh, with some specific uh, uh, variables, maybe Shopify is a better solution or maybe WordPress with uh, uh, some integrations such as WooCommerce could be a better uh, solution for them. So you always have to like balance it out. Uh, I think Webflow it works really good um, for uh, websites which uh, are uh, read-only websites. And uh, although they recently really went in with uh, you know features uh, such as uh, um, the, the the CMS, uh, they also recently, or actually not recently, I think it's, well, it was over a year ago, they introduced e-commerce. I haven't personally checked it out, so I, can, I cannot express my opinion on that. Uh, but um, definitely just uh, consider all of these things whenever you're uh, considering if using Webflow or WordPress or you know whatever other platform that you're considering. So hope this video was helpful. So the short answer is, should you use Webflow in uh, 2022 as a UI UX designer? I think it's definitely worth uh, uh, using it uh, in the right uh, uh, scenarios and for the right projects, which uh, is something that you have to make your own personal call. Uh, these are from a high level, the pros and cons of Webflow, but then again, you have to decide uh, uh, either with yourself, if you're considering for a portfolio or if your client, if you're building a website uh, for them and quick tip, uh, I would actually mention uh, uh, that you would like to use Webflow before starting uh, the actual project. So basically outline uh, the pros uh, of Webflow and uh, if, you, if you think it's a good solution for them and then essentially have this dialogue uh, before starting to work uh, because some clients have uh, uh, some pushback when it, we can, when it comes to the website builder. So this is something to uh, keep in mind out there. So I hope this video was helpful and I want to remind you that on my channel I have over 500 videos on UI UX design for free. So feel free to check it out and I'll see you in the next video.